hi everybody welcome back to my channel and today is day two of 21 of our waiting upon the lord our fasting and our praying and waiting upon the lord seeking his face um, most of us are doing water fast for the 21 days and some of us are doing um a six to a six to six uh, like an omad and some of us are doing um um, three days water fast and then the rest will be an omad and however you go um, we bless the name of the Lord and I want to say thank you for joining me on this challenge even as I wait upon the Lord and we wait upon the Lord and seek his face together today is day two and uh, our theme for day two to day six the next five days is returning back to our first love so from today till the um, day six we're going to be looking at things in that line we're going to be bringing our heart before god we're going to be going back to him that's the essence of this fasting to go back to god um to seek his face to go from where we missed it, where we lost it, and to now be conversant with his presence, stay in a secret place, and love him like we ought to. Uh, praise the Lord. So we're looking at that today. We're going back to our first love. That's our theme for today. We're going back to our first love. And the scripture that comes to me is none other but Revelation chapter 2. Uh, from verse 1 to verse 7 uh, and it, I'm reading the King James Version it says unto the angel of the church of Ephesus writes this thing said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and has found them liars and has borne and has patience and for my name's sake you have labored and has not fainted nevertheless i have some words against thee because thou hast left thy first love remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else i will come unto thee quickly and i will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent but this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds of the nicolaitans which i also hate he that had an ear let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches to him that overcometh will i give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of god praise the lord so god is saying to us that we should go back to our first love. We should return to our first love. In this place, he was rebuking the church in Ephesus because they had abandoned their first love, their, their original zeal for God, their original passion for God. They have left it and they were seeking after other things. They were doing other works. I know that it works. You've been doing this, you've been doing that, but you have left your first love. We have to understand that our works for God cannot equate it's not the same as our staying in his presence our our dwelling with him our abiding with him god prizes our dwelling with him our abiding with him more than even the works that we do remember when jesus called the disciples the bible said that he said um, uh, he called them that they might be with him and that he might send them so the sending is secondary when it has to when we are comparing this the 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 being with him and also the sending the sending sending is secondary the primary thing is to be with him we have to be with him we have to seek him we have to look for him we have to stay with him and then he will be able to use us to do the works right not the works before the staying that's where a lot of us have missed it how many times have you been so how many times have we been so busy busy with our work busy with our businesses busy with our family even the families that he has blessed us with busy with every other thing that we have forgotten that 
He has called us that we may be with him, that we may stay with him. And God today and this and the next five days is calling us to return to our first love, to go back to where we missed it. Now, Jeremiah chapter 2 has this to say. Jeremiah um, chapter 2 and verse 13. It says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and they have hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. They have forgotten me, he said. They have forsaken me and they have hewn them cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. In other words, they are doing every other thing, but they have forsaken me. They have forsaken time out with me. They have forsaken time out in my presence and they have hewn out things for them that keep them busy. They should remember that these things that keep them busy, these things that seemingly make ends meet, are broken as in they don't hold water. They are not sustainable. Those are not the things that sustain us. That's what God wants us to understand. So he wants us today to return to our first love. Return. Remember how you used to love his presence. Remember how you used to stay with him. Remember how you used to spend time out to worship, to pray, to love him, to seek him before every other thing. Remember how all you wanted to do was to stay in a secret place and to learn more about him. But we have somehow gotten into every other thing and we have forsaken this. And today is a call. Today is a call to return to our first love. Many of us have turned old prophets in quotes, old prophets. So you hear us say things like, Remember those days when I used to sing. Remember those days where I used to prophesy. Remember those days where I used to do this and I used to do that. So what's happening today? This is a call for us to come back to the Lord, to draw near unto him and he will draw near unto us. Just like it says in the book of James chapter 4 and verse 8, it says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Ye double-minded, purify your hearts. I love the way it says it in the Message Bible. Let me show it to us. See what the Message Bible said. It says, quit dabbling in sin, purify your inner life, quit playing the field, hit bottom, and cry your eyes out. The fun and games are over. Get serious, really serious. Get down on your knees before the master. It's the only way you will get on your feet. Hallelujah. So going back to him, drawing back to him is the best thing. And that's why I'm excited about this 21 days waiting upon the Lord in water fast and uh, in fasting, fasting food, fasting um, pleasures, fasting some things that would not normally distract us. I'm so excited because it's time for us to draw closer to him. I don't know how your first day was. I don't know how your second day was. But as you have listened to this today and we're going to pray, I want you to make up your mind that tomorrow, the third day of waiting upon the Lord in fasting, in prayer, that you're going to give your all to him. You're going to give your heart to him, going to give your life to him. You're going to spend quality time with him. I know tomorrow here in Nigeria is a Sunday. So many of us will be in church. A, a whole majority of us will be in church to worship, to love him. So when you are back from church, and maybe you rested. I want you to still find out time in the evening to wait upon the Lord to seek his face. I want to urge us that we should spend time in the night. So I think from tomorrow, we're going to do something that at least one hour you will spend at night. Yes, you will spend time in the morning. You spend time with him during the day. But at night, we'll spend an hour, at least maybe 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. or 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. You spend that hour worshiping and seeking him. Let's do this from tomorrow and let it be a challenge. And let's see how it goes. Praise the Lord. Right now we're going to pray. And we're going to ask the Lord to draw us. You say, draw me, Lord. Draw me, Lord. Pull me to you. Forgive me for going out of that place where 
you are love you are god going out of that place of intimacy with you and doing my own thing let us pray that prayer right now father in the name of jesus i pray and i ask for your mercy we ask for your mercy oh god where we have been doing other things and we have neglected your presence We've neglected your secret place. We've taken our job so seriously, more than we've taken you serious. We've taken our family so seriously, more than we've taken you serious. We've given more of our time to worldly things and pleasures. And we have forsaken you, like you said in your word. And today, we come to you. We draw nigh to you, and we know that you will draw nigh to us because that's what you said in your word in the book of James, chapter 4 and verse 8. Today we ask, oh God, that you wash us clean. You cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive our sins, oh God. Purify our hearts, Lord. Purify our hearts. Cleanse us. Make us clean in your eyes. Make us whole in your eyes. Oh God, we give ourselves to you in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, I pray for everyone that is on this life on this video on this channel right now listening to the sound of my voice i ask oh god that you draw us close to you that even this 21 days of water fast you will strengthen us you will empower us to go on as many of us as are fasting maybe um, and breaking it in the evening with light foods as many of us as are in this program doesn't matter when they decide to start and they're in this program lord god i ask oh god that you will strengthen you will empower us to do this to your Will. and lord draw us close to you let it be a time indeed of intimacy a time of of coming to you a time of knowing you more reveal yourself to us give us dreams and visions give us encounters in the name of jesus christ we thank you lord we bless your name because we know you have done it in jesus name we pray amen and amen glory be to god so we thank god for the end of day two for me it's already the end of the second day. I have done um, 41, uh, uh, 48 hours of waiting upon the Lord. And I know you have also done the same. For those that are breaking, you've already broken um, or you're about to break your own fast. Whatever the case may be, I'm excited for you. Uh, remember the challenge that starts tomorrow on day three. The challenge is that we are going to uh, we're going to be spending one hour on our own to seek the face of God in worship, in prayer. That's apart from the other prayers we're going to be doing in the morning, uh, prayers we're going to be doing in the afternoon or the studying and all of that. We're going to make it a date, either 10 p.m. to 11 or 11 to 12 midnight, where we are just going to worship God and seek his face before we go to bed. I trust God that as we do this, mighty things will happen in our lives in Jesus' name. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like and comment and tell me how these prayers are helping you. And also share this with your friend and your loved ones. God bless you. See you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And bye.